Now at six, the Miami Boat Show is back, and while visitors will get to tour some of the world's most luxurious yachts and super yachts on the Blue Sea, the show will also feature an exhibit that's all about going green. CBS Sports' Francis Wang is live on Virginia Key with more on what that all means. Hi, Francis. Hey guys, yeah, while this boat show is of course fun and flashy, it really does a lot of good for our area economically and environmentally. Take a look. A luxurious yacht experience, right, but boy, make it green. And trying to push the yachting industry into renewable energy. That way you can sail around the world and you don't even have to stop for gas. As long as the weather and sea conditions are perfect 24-7. But don't worry, there are diesel backups, so you're never left stranded. It's eerily quiet. It's just, we say it's just you, the sea, and serenity. The 64 feet solar powered yacht sleeps eight people and one crew comfortably. It's one of many environmentally friendly options here at the Progressive Miami International Boat Show. Well, healthy oceans are a really critical part of what we, what we believe in at Costa. The environmental efforts even trickle into the show itself. These reusable bottles and hydration stations for attendees last year saved 83,000 plastic bottles. Costa del Mar also turning these fishing nets into fashion. The sunglasses are actually made from recycled fishing nets. Um, they're collected down in Chile. The nets are then cleaned and molded into these sunglasses. All of it's recyclable. So even the foams that we're using in the, the temples and on the nose pads. And then there's sustainable seafood. Celebrity chef Alan Susser here to teach us some tricks from his new book, Green Fig and Lionfish. This is an invasive species. Lionfish are taking over the reefs from Florida all the way through the Caribbean. And if we don't eat these fish, They'll eat more of the fish out there, and they become a monster problem. So even out here with these temporary docks, the organizers of the show actually leave this basin better than they find it by picking up the trash. It doubles the seagrass. So again, a huge economic and environmental impact. Everyone's about to leave as the show is wrapping up for the day, but it goes through Monday. Live on Virginia Key, I'm Francis Wang, CBS 4 News.